I think it was key that the year, the year as a whole was the celebration of Lewisham, um, but specifically people in Lewisham. And I think pretty much everything came up through ideas uh, from different people across the borough. We had goldsmiths, we had community groups around the borough, the Horniman Museum, businesses, everybody playing a, a different part, you know, some small, some bigger, but I think that's what really helped us get um, breadth across the borough. And it was really important that we involved everybody at different levels, as participants, as audience members, uh, as part of community groups, as part of activist groups. It's the sort of thing you learn when you, do, you just can't do it on your own and you really do need those partners. There was a, a team at the Albany and a team at Lewisham Council and we were working together on the whole thing and really um, exploring the idea that actually culture um, can be instrumental in making change, can be influential in, in making things happen. The vision for the whole of the Borough of Culture programme was one about cultural activism, about how culture can mobilise people, um, get them thinking and talking about the ways that we live together. Lewisham has a great history of activism, so we really wanted to celebrate that in the programme and we wanted to look at big issues like climate emergency, but also look at how communities come together to stand up for each other. Teatro Vivo became our theatre company in residence, working really closely with the climate resilience team within the council. They also did um, a lot of engagement work out and about across all 19 wards. A really important part of Borough of Culture was also around jobs and skills in the arts. There's so many opportunities at the moment in the creative industries. We were opening those up, breaking down the barriers, allowing people to network and know where to take the first steps. We had Climate Home, which was an amazing new space which was built, designed, created by young people. That brought together weeks and weeks of work with youth workers, young people and creatives coming together and telling their story and their narrative around the things that they wanted to talk to us about. Music is part of the lifeblood of Lewisham um, and Revolution Through Music really wanted to talk about the activist history of the borough through its musical output. I think a particular favourite of mine was the sound system trail and being able to travel through Lewisham with I think what was 8,000 other people and kind of immerse yourself in these different sounds of resistance throughout the day. All types of people, all ages coming together and it was a really joyous occasion. We wanted to bring the programme out to people so they didn't have to go to traditional cultural spaces. The Discovolution programme was fantastic because it had events popping up in people's libraries, green spaces, local parks, community centres and that just brought joy and celebration into the little pockets of Lewisham which was really beautiful to see. I remember walking towards the uh, Foster Memorial Park and kind of coming across people who were leaving Gaia and talking about it excitedly and people who'd come from across London because they'd seen it on social media and wanted to visit. For me it would have to be Lewisham People's Day. It was absolutely magical to be back after four years bringing together all that amazing talent from Lewisham, showcasing it to over 25,000 visitors. A really really special moment for me personally was um, being in Beckenham Place Park on the 21st of December for Lit. It was a real Lewisham take on um, a light festival for the winter. Through the year we really got an understanding that people wanted more opportunity to gather in public space. So we came together uh, as a team to imagine what we could do towards the end of the year that would really celebrate our year. I hope the sense of optimism and enthusiasm of the year carries forward. That sense that if you come together, even in difficult circumstances, you can make things happen that really kind of benefit your community. There has been a sense of pride in what the borough has already to offer and what we've done is shine a light on that and allow different voices to come forward and people to experience things that they might not have tried before. Culture is all around us, it's something that's um, open and available for everyone and it's something that's actually really valuable and important in our lives uh, and in our community and something that we really value in Lewisham uh, and really want to carry on investing in.